I've said this so many times before, if you are an aspiring automotive designer, maybe you're studying car design, you don't really know what company you want to focus on, Hyundai is definitely one of these companies that are completely going nuts with their designs. This is the brand new 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of uh, technical specifications uh, for this car yet. It was just unveiled a couple of hours ago but what we can do in this video is talk about this design and see the changes i'm going to show you the changes from the old santa fe which looks completely different from this philosophy from a front side rear and the interior as well and just let you let you know what i think about this design first of all let's have a look at this article from motor one i can link it down in the description if you want to go and check it out just to see if we can get to know this uh, 2024 Santa Fe a little bit better. So it features a more rugged appearance. The fully redesigned model gets 21 inch alloy wheels with 245 R21 tires housed within squared wheel arches. It gets a massive tailgate as wide as the vehicle itself in the back. Hyundai isn't releasing any technical specification for now, but what we do know is that this is not an EV. And I think that's pretty cool. That's the way to go with this type of rugged design that we have here. The South Korean automaker admits it has taken an unconventional approach with this striking redesign in a bid to give the SUV a fresh look and maximize interior space. I can definitely say that this is a fresh look and I can also definitely say with these boxy Land Rover Defender shape, you definitely maximize the interior space as well. It's the latest model to adopt a curved dual screen setup in the interior and in a typical Hyundai fashion, you still have separate controls for the climate settings. Absolutely fantastic. I'm already in love with this new Santa Fe. Recycled plastic was used to make the floor mats, the headliner, and even the backrest of the fully foldable second and third row seats. The 2024 Santa Fe painted in copper the, uh, in these press photos here, it actually says 2.5T uh, in the back, meaning that it is a 2.5 liter turbocharged engine. Sounds very good to me. So with that said, let's jump in here in Photoshop and let's just have a look at what the heck is going on over in South Korea these days. I think this is such a cool design. It's still this pixelated shapes that we have in the Ionic uh, lineup now morphing in, kind of sneaking into the normal Hyundai uh, uh, internal combustion engine uh, cars as well. But have a look at the difference here between the old Hyundai Santa Fe up here, which has all this organic curves to it, soft emotional design in the design. I, I didn't think that this was a, a bad looking design, the previous one. It does have this fish mouth for the grill with, as you can see, we do have, yes, we do have the trend of the decade in addition to the um, full LED bar in, in, in the rear ends of car. The other trend, we got two trends, the full light bar in the rear end, the second trend is definitely the bumper headlights that we also have in the 2021 model. One thing I did not like about the old one is this angle here. I think these angles just doesn't fit in. You can see how they stick up. It kind of just interrupts in this surface and doesn't have a connection to it. I actually made a redesign back in the day just changing that little thing but having a look at this new design first of all have a look at the overall there's no comparison between these two i can't say that they changed this and it morphed into this and that turned into this feature because there is no relation between these two designs that's how massive of a new design language this is for Hyundai but I do love what's going on here because this looks a lot more static than the previous uh, Santa Fe and I think it suits this design usually I'm, I'm all for you know fluid organic shapes with with the line flow and stuff like that but in this case this looks like a beast just change the tires on this i would like to have some off-road tires onto this new santa fe and it would actually be a pretty cool looking off-roader but have a look at all these squares that we have in the front end very cool looking graphics and you also have this age shaped leds hyundai hyundai doesn't care about nice fluid motions in their leds instead we're just gonna make four boxes 
and put a bar in the middle to connect them and we're going to call it a day it also looks like they have a full led bar in the front end and this reminds me of the um, american ev company canoe and the headlights of the canoe vehicles it has a similar vibe to that but this feels a lot more grown up in its design this being hyundai they've been in the game for a lot longer than canoe so they know how to implement the surfacing and have that connect nicely with the rest of the graphics and then we have these squared off wheel fenders that look very interesting and pretty weird because you can see that the graphics are squared off but when we look at the wheel arch itself it is still rounded so it is a round wheel arch within squared graphics around it and it's also a dual squared off fender we have the body color piece up here then you have another black square in before it meets this curvature down low very confusing but very uh, intriguing design here by hyundai Let's jump into the side view and it gets even more uh, crazy when we look at the graphics in the rear, which we're going to do in the next slide. Here you can clearly see just how beautiful and organic and nice, soft, calm this previous generation of the Hyundai Santa Fe was with pretty much every surface having a, a curvature to it and also that goes for the graphics as well the front end graphics and the tail lights having very soft almost feminine looks to it and then what the Hyundai designer said that said we're gonna take a ruler and we can't design the new Santa Fe uh, without using a ruler so I think that was the the main objective to just challenge themselves to try to design the new Santa Fe using nothing but straight lines that's exactly what it looks like here and this is where it definitely gives me some Land Rover Defender feel and have a look at how upright the rear end is and you have this tailgate them being this exact same width as the entire car you have some proper rugged looking door handles even the door handles in the previous one was soft it has, it has a nice ellipse to it right there but in the new one they squared everything off and made this almost industrial looking door handles for the santa fe i'm not sure if this is going to be a proper off-road capable vehicle or if it's just for styling i doubt it's going to come with some rear lockers and stuff like that but the, the visuals of it looks like it is capable of tackling some pretty nasty trails then we have the blacked out a pillar which is also new and also two straight lines the greenhouse itself also a straight line we do have some graphics here some silver pieces that further reminds me of the land rover defender however again i'm not so sure about these wheels because i want to have more of an off-road feel for this design and just to completely hammer in this rugged feel for the new uh, santa fe so have a look at the rear end this to me looks like something uh, like a car that was modernized an 80s or even 70s car that they modernized into 20, a 2024 model and here you can clearly see that we do have the 2.5 turbo down here and we also have the Santa Fe stamped out in the middle of this tailgate and we also have an exhaust clearly showing that this is still an internal combustion engine same philosophy here this feels like a completely different brand i don't even know what to say here to compare these two because they're so different here we have a, a square in the rear end basically a big square these lights remind me of some volkswagen lights from the i think the 80s or maybe even the 70s like a volkswagen bus the old uh, hippie bus design in a modernized way you can still see that we still have the age design in here so we still have these four squares that they're not gonna move away from in the rear end either and put a little led light bar in the middle and connect it and that's about it this is probably not you know designing this car I, I can't think of you know hand sketching this car would be pretty hard because when you're sketching a car you naturally have curves in your lines it's very hard to create a completely straight line like this so i'm not sure if this was designed in a computer or if it's actually designed by a human being sketching the ideation sketches out by hand to start with i would like to know that if someone from hyundai is watching this video send me an email 
and let me know how you actually designed this car. I'm not sure what it is about this entire rear end that reminds me of the 70s. I think it has to do with these bars or lines that we have going in here, probably for heating the rear window. But this also looks like some sort of uh, 70s or 80s graphics. I really like this copper color that we have on this press car, looking fantastic. And I'm glad that Hyundai are experimenting a lot these days with their design. So last but not least, let's have a look at the interior. Same thing here. We have the organic soft vibes up top in the 2021 model. The new one just looks completely industrialized, almost military style with these. I think these are probably two 12.3 inch uh, gauge cluster and the infotainment screen here looking I would say decently integrated in the dash because everything else is so square. Usually what happens is you have a very organic dash and interior in general and then you have this big screen on the dash. I think BMW is a good example of that when it, where, where you really can see that it's clashing with the screens. But I don't think it does that here because we still have very parallel lines going everywhere. You can see this whole thing is air vents in this area and then the trim continues into the passenger side and what i love about this design is they kept all these physical buttons for the climate control settings so i'll zoom in here and see what we got it looks like we have two usb c's right here maybe one over here as well and you have two charging pads right next to each other so you can charge both your wife's phone and your phone at the same time that's absolutely fantastic and you can see that we do have the dials for the climate control settings here looking fairly easy to adjust this looks maybe to be the fan speed i'm not entirely sure and i'm pretty sure if you want to you can use all these uh functions down here those are also integrated in the software of the new 2024 hyundai you can also see that the steering wheel uh got a pretty cool refresh here still having this boxy shape in the middle of the steering wheel i think this definitely suits the new 2024 uh, Hyundai Santa Fe better than the previous model, specifically when we have the boxy <laughs> exterior like we have in this case. And everything in here is just brand new. Everything got a lot more boxy. Even the door handle looks like something you would find on a military vehicle right here, looking fantastic. So switch out these wheels and it would look like a proper off-roader for Hyundai. And I'm so excited. This makes me excited for car design in the future. When car companies like this, they just go out of their way to just forget about the past. Let's create something completely new. Just not even have a generation in between to kind of soften this uh, transformation that we have here. They don't care about that. They just said, we're going to create something new, unique, and focus on the functionality of the interior space and sprinkle some of that ionic design language on the exterior. I love this car and I can't wait to see it out on the roads.